Premier Christina Keneally has hit the jackpot, selling off New South Wales Lotteries, one of the state's biggest money spinners. It'll put an extra billion dollars into government revenue just a year out from the election. Eric Rusendale found it hard to hide his pleasure. His numbers had just fallen the right way, with the last hurdle cleared to offload the state-run lotteries. Over $1 billion in proceeds, far exceeding all of the forecasts in the market. Tats Group has snapped up the business for $850 million. New South Wales lotteries will also pay the government $160 million in cash and assets, giving Labor a windfall of more than $1 billion and extra money to play with 12 months out from an election. Eric Rusendahl is using this sale to build up his election war chest. He's trying to bring forward a budget that will not embarrass him. The budget will be handed down in June, but the Treasurer wouldn't speculate if the funds will go towards rail projects in the transport blueprint. Well, obviously, we'll be talking at both infrastructure and, perhaps, well, not wages, they'll be going towards infrastructure and supporting services. Election promises, too, from the opposition. Today, Barry O'Farrell committed to building a new convention centre for Sydney because the existing one has reached its capacity. A feasibility study will be done now, so construction could start in Barry O'Farrell's first term. We want to win. We want to implement it in government. But if we fail to, we want to make sure that the next government gets on with the job and not like, not like Nathan Rees and Christina Keneally, ignore it for another three years. And Josh Murphy joins us now from Macquarie Street. Josh, it feels like an election campaign has already begun. Bill, it certainly does. Firstly, as we just heard, we had the Treasurer spruiking how the government would be soon be flushed with those new funds, a nudge over a billion dollars after the sale of its lottery business. Those funds are going to go a long way to making the government's bottom line look a lot better than it otherwise may have come the June budget. About half an hour later, we had Barry O'Farrell, the Liberal leader, unveiling his plans to build a new convention centre in Sydney. That groundwork is being done now, but of course, he isn't the only one getting ready for the polls. We had Premier Christina Keneally launch Launching TV commercials on Sunday, talking up her plans for the state. So it seems voters should already be preparing for the onslaught, and the election isn't until March next year. Thank you. State political reporter Josh Murphy. Another state asset is now in private hands after the New South Wales Lotteries was sold off today for a billion dollars. The new owner, Tats Group, is promising new scratchy products and better internet gaming, but says vending machines and supermarkets are off the agenda. In a nation of punters, owning a lottery seems a surefire moneymaker, so selling it off makes little sense to these ticket buyers. In a way, they've sold off the goose that lays the golden egg, haven't they? I think I prefer it government on less chance of funny things going on. The government has sold a 40-year licence for $1 billion. Within the deal, the government still earns $330 million per year in tax, but loses out on $50 million per year in profits. The Melbourne-based TATS says as we spend less than other states, it's planning new internet gaming and scratch lotteries to get us to gamble more. For example, introducing pro products such as Crosswords, which is a product which has worked really well in, in Queensland. Scratchy sold through vending machines and at supermarkets are two ideas that are not on the agenda. The new owners are banking on better marketing and those new products to deliver them a 3% growth in revenue over the next few years. But they won't say how many jobs will be lost. Interestingly, when Queensland sold off its lotteries, the money was set aside for just one new hospital. Where the proceeds go here in New South Wales isn't clear. It allows us to reduce state debt and allows us to put some money back into frontline services, so it's a great result for the people of this state. What he should be doing is taking that billion dollars, sticking it into the North West Rail Link and starting that tomorrow. Kevin Wilde, Nine News. The state government has hit the jackpot selling New South Wales lotteries to Tattersalls for $1.1 billion. But like any lottery winner, the question now is what to do with all that money? $9 billion. Never have to work again. Would that be good? Just as the lotteries were selling dreams, the Treasurer was selling the lotteries. This $1 billion win for the people of New South Wales. A 40-year licence deal with the tax group. The government gets a billion dollars and retains annual duties. We don't see it as a great deal at all. This government's selling a cash cow, a licence to print money. And if they pay off debt, then the interest that they're not paying anymore will help compensate for the income they're not getting anymore. 
Along with paying debt, the government's pledging the proceeds to frontline services, health, education, police. What he should be doing is taking that billion dollars, sticking it into the North West Rail Link and starting that tomorrow. The deal means TATS now controls 80% of Australia's lottery pool. The players benefit from, from that in lotteries is about jackpots and about driving jackpots. The deal ensures lottery products will be sold in the same way and in the same places for the next five years. After that, all bets are off. Giving news agents breathing space to prove they should continue being the lottery outlets. The general public comes to the news agent mainly for lotteries. About 35% of people go to the news agents for the lottery product. But tats have assured punters the only change they might see are a few more scratches. Chris Ma, 7 News. The Treasurer says he's hit the jackpot with his deal to sell off the state's lotteries. The gaming group TATS will pay a billion dollars for exclusive rights to the business for the next 40 years. Eric Rusendahl says some of the money will be used to pay off debt. The opposition says it should be spent on the North West Rail Link. State political reporter Matt Wordsworth. The billion dollar price tag scratched all estimates and the Treasurer was happy to revel in it. And all the experts out there were forecasting closer to half of that proceeds from New South Wales lotteries. It allows us to reduce state debt and allows us to put some money back into frontline services. The opposition has other designs. What he should be doing is taking that billion dollars, sticking it into the North West Rail Link and starting that tomorrow. Tats already runs Powerball and Oslotto and thanks to today's deal now has 80% of the national market. You could spend the rest of your life it hopes to increase the business here by 3% a year and take New South Wales from its place as lowest spenders per capita and it'll use scratchets to do it. In Tasmania, we were able to add 40% to the sales that had previously existed. Workers transferring to TATS will keep their old pay and conditions for three years but the experience interstate shows staff eventually get trimmed. Between Queensland and Victoria combined, as our existing business, we've got less people. The Public Service Association isn't happy about the government losing the state-owned asset. What they've done is uh, given away a cash cow. The government will no longer receive the $50 million annual profit, but it will continue to pocket gambling duties of about $330 million, more if TATS realises its growth plans. Gambling councillors aren't too worried, describing scratches and lotto as a relatively benign form of gambling. In fact, Wesley Mission says pokies account for 85% of their problem gamblers. The gaming minister says $12 million a year is currently spent counselling gamblers. We continue to work uh, with those who are problem gamblers and that will not change. With the sold sticker now up on New South Wales lotteries, the next asset up for grabs is the state-owned energy retailers. There's a bridge behind us. Let's hope we've got the title deeds for that still come the next election. The power sell-off is due by the end of the year. Matt Wordsworth, ABC News. Environmentalists are celebrating.